A new movie revisits the Boston Globe's uncovering of the clergy sex abuse scandal in the Catholic Church. Spotlight is the story of the investigative team that earned a Pulitzer Prize for its reporting of the abuse allegations in 2001. It was a time when more than 200 priests and religious were accused of abusing minors and then reassigned in a cover-up. One Catholic priest actively fighting to prevent clerical child abuse says the church has taken action. If a priest is known to have sexually molested a minor, he will never minister as a priest again. And this is the fact. There's no priest in this country who's molested a minor that we know of who's in ministry. And number two, mandatory reporting. Monsignor Stephen Rossetti points out the movie is about history and not current events. Christopher White of Catholic Voices USA joining us by Skype from New York City. Christopher, why do you say that U.S. Catholics should be grateful for the media's earnest coverage of the sex abuse scandal? Uh, thanks, Brian. You know, I think the reason Catholics should be grateful for the story that Spotlight tells uh, is not because of the pain that it uh, causes us to remember, uh, but because it really marked a turning point in the Church's response to the abuse crisis and has really led to almost 15 years of, of new reform measures uh, that have really made Catholic uh, institutions the safest place for minors uh, in the country. And your book on called Renewal really does document that effort by the church. Does the movie shed any light on that? Well, I think, you know, the, the movie ends where the real story begins. So I don't want to spoil anything for those going to see the film, but the movie ends as the story is officially breaking and the, the paper is going to print effectively. Uh, so the, the movie, unfortunately, doesn't tell the great success story uh, where the Catholic Church has become the gold standard for the protection of minors in the United States. Uh, and so what we've done in the past uh, 10 years uh, is really make sure that anyone who contact, comes into contact with minors uh, has been uh, screened, uh, had, has gone through appropriate background checks, uh, independent review boards have been set up, every diocese in the U.S. has safe environment uh, offices, uh, and so, in fact, what's actually happened is that the rest of the world has, in a sense, looked at the Catholic Church to say, how can we model our own programs after that of the Catholic Church so that we, too, can have those same standards? Uh, and so that's the real story that has to be told today, is what we've done. Uh, and, you know, it, it has to be done in a way in which we really, you know, we, we empathize with all who were uh, affected by this crisis. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's appropriate for us to recognize that, you know, there were priestly failings. There was a fidelity, uh, you know, a crisis of fidelity to the gospel. Uh, but I think all of our priests and bishops today are truly on board with making sure that such tragedies never happen again. It'd be nice to see a sequel to Spotlight that tells that story. Finally, and very briefly, do you think this movie will harm the church or benefit us? You know, I think it will benefit us. You know, we can't be hostile to movies like this uh, because it, you know, it, it does document a part of our past. Uh, but we can really claim this, uh, the, our response to it as something worth celebrating uh, and, uh, you know, and memorializing uh, so that we can go on and move forward uh, in a way that builds on what we've learned. Christopher White, Skyping with us from New York City with Catholic Voices USA. Thank you, Christopher. Thanks, Brian.